And so what I'd like you to do is um, to think of three qualities that describe you. Um, and at least two of them have to be positive. And it could be, you know, the qualities that we just listed, but it could be something completely different. I just did that. So we got into this thinking about personal qualities, personal traits. So think of three qualities that describe you and a passion captured with one word. So it could be like, I don't know, sports or nature or conservation, whatever, a, a passion. Uh, and I'm also telling you that what we're gonna do is you're gonna send me your three qualities and your passion, but only to me in the chat box. And then I'm gonna read out the three qualities and the passion and we're gonna guess who is this person among us. So if you can think of qualities that are a little bit, not general, but specific to you, then, then that's, that's great. Okay, so I'm just giving you a little bit of time to think. Three qualities and a passion. And when you're ready, make sure you send it in the chat box, but only to me, not to everybody, but only to me. So we can have a little guessing activity. And don't forget that at least two of the qualities should be positive. The third one could be something maybe you want to work on, but they can all oh, three things can be positive. So have a little think, but you don't have to, you know, you don't have to think too hard. <laughs> Just the three things that come to mind. Okay. Can you please share the screen? So uh, that would help us like to choose from those three. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the screen. Then. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. So we had empathetic, kind, stubborn, funny, energetic, outgoing, creative, sincere, talkative, diligent, tolerant, optimistic. Lots of positive and a couple of negative things there as well. Okay, so I'm gonna stop sharing and come back to the living room. <laughs> Okay, they're coming in. So I'm just giving you uh, 10 more seconds. Okay. So I think just about everybody has sent me your qualities. So I'm gonna read out the first one and just think, who do you think, um, who do you think this person is? So this person thinks of himself or herself as honest, clever, clumsy, and the passion is environment. Who do you think this person is? Honest? Katinka. Katinka. Ah, uh, yes, it was in fact Katinka. But may, you know, maybe there are other uh, people who fit the description, but uh, Katinka, can you say um, a little bit about one of the adjectives or the passion? Well, um, I'm pretty clumsy. Maybe you don't see it through the internet, but my my family and friends sometimes make fun of me for dropping things. <laughs> okay. Thanks for sharing that with us. I'm like that too, but only in the morning when I'm sleepy that I drop everything. <laughs> okay, and the environment is your passion. Okay, so the next one is optimistic, creative, and absent-minded. And the passion is drawing. Who could this be? Optimistic, creative, absent-minded, and the passion is drawing. Esther? Esther, could this be you? Yeah, that's wow. me. Good guess. Wow. Awesome. Can you tell us a bit about one of them, Esther? Um, I I am absent-minded, especially these days. <laughs> I forget everything. Maybe because I have too much on my plate. 
I don't know. Yeah, when, when that happens, it's very easy to be absent-minded. Yeah. So it's like not a permanent quality, but just at, at this moment, you tend to suffer from that a bit. Okay, thank you. The next person sees himself or herself as open-minded, kind, optimistic, and the passion is C, the C. What do you think? Is that? that Sabrine? Sabrine, is that you? No, but thank you, Leona. Actually, when uh, Margaret, you were reading, I was like, oh, I can fit in that too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure you share many qualities. <laughs> uh, but no, it wasn't Sabrine. Maybe, Maybe Gadir. Maybe Gadir. Gadir? Yeah, actually, it was me. Yeah, wow, very good. Gadir, can you talk about one of the qualities or your passion? Um, okay, then, open minded. I feel myself that I can accept everyone regardless the way they look or their beliefs um i can understand everyone great that's such an important uh, quality for anyone but for a teacher in particular and the c yeah well actually uh it is my favorite place i feel really relieved whenever i see uh c so it's my favorite place and it's also my passion Thanks. I can certainly relate to that. Uh, there isn't a sea in Hungary, but I love lakes and rivers. So to be by the lake or a river also is fantastic, a fantastic feeling for me as well. Okay, the next person sees herself or himself as outgoing, kind, adaptive, and the passion is dancing. What do you think? Dorina? Dorina? Was it you? No, Dorina is shaking her head. Maria? Maria? No. Yulchi? Yulchi, yes. <laughs> well, I guess Yulchi. Yulchi, can you choose one of them and tell us about it? Mm, yeah, I've danced for 15 years, um, acrobatic rock and roll, and I really miss it. Uh, yeah, and I like being with my friends, and I really like to be again outgoing. <laughs> Wow, acrobatic rock and roll, that sounds great. Yeah, and why did, why did you, I mean, you can't do it now because of the COVID situation, but did you stop before or did you stop because of the COVID? No, before. Um, I stopped when, when I moved to Budapest because, uh, so because of my university studies. Mm, that's why. Okay, okay, thanks. So the next one is caring, energetic, impatient. And the passion is baking cakes. This person sees himself or herself as caring, energetic, and impatient. Olha. Passion is baking cakes. Olha. Bori. No, but I think no. it's Luta. Durina. Yes, yes, it's me, actually. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I would say that I'm caring because if I get close with someone, I'm going around like, um, did you sleep enough or did you eat enough? So <laughs> I'm like a chicken mother or I don't know. Um, yeah, so this is one of my qualities. And then obviously I love baking cakes, every kind of cakes like chocolate or strawberry. And I love experimenting with that. Sounds great. Thank you. Okay, so the next one is um, this person sees herself as outgoing, ambitious, energetic, and um, the passion is running. Running is this person's passion. What do you think? Lana? Lana? No, I mean, I don't know if it's true for Lana as well, but that's not the person who wrote this. I really like running, but that's not me. <laughs> so, so outgoing, ambitious, energetic, and running. Aliona? Did you say Aliona? No, I'm not sporty at all. <laughs> I think it's a sun, no? Osama yeah. is nodding. Okay. Yeah, well, well I guess. Osama, do you want to tell us about, a little bit about 
yeah. yeah. Um, so I believe ambition has no limits. Uh, and we need to work on that. Regarding running, it's like my my passion. And now because I cannot like do it that much, whenever uh, I see people running in the street, like I try, like I hold myself not to do it with them <laughs> um, because of my knees. So I need to take care of them. So yeah, that's why my passion is running really. I like it. Okay, great. Thanks, Osama. Okay, next one is, Passionate, considerate, impulsive, and people are everything to me. Passionate, considerate, impulsive, and people are everything to me. What do you think? Nikki? <laughs> Nikki is surprised that you get straight to it. Yeah. <laughs> because we don't know that much about each other. <laughs> but actually, I related to you, which is really so much. I did ballroom dancing for 15 years. So same thing, I moved to Budapest and, and there's just no way to do it the way it was. And <laughs> I felt your passion so much and I was about to type that in, but I thought that that was way too far for you to figure out <laughs> who it was. But then dancing, always. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so you're discovering all, all kinds of commonalities, all kinds of joint passions here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is nerdy, creative, and kind. And the passion is fantasy books. Boring. It's Bori. <laughs> Bori, or oh, is it you? Yep. I mean, it was a dead giveaway because I keep talking about fantasy books <laughs> to everyone who will listen to me. Okay. Are you um, also a writer of fantasy books or? No. I do make up stuff in my head, but that's more so just random daydreaming. I never put it down, but yeah, I'm very nerdy. If you talk to me for 15 minutes, you realize it <laughs> because I like, I like all sorts of Marvel stuff. I like fantasy books, series. Um, yeah, all of that. I love to learn about weird things. I love to learn about weird facts. Um, I also really love baking, like Ruta and cooking. Um, but I also enjoy watching like weird sciencey videos about cooking and baking because I find it so fascinating. So yeah. Okay, great. So you like to leave reality and just use your imagination and move into different Oh yeah, ways. like 80% of the time. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Thanks for sharing that with us. Okay, the next one is perfectionist, introverted, creative, and the passion is graphic design. Hmm. Aliona. Aliona is shaking her head. <laughs> no, it's Dorina. Dorina? It's me. <laughs> yeah. So maybe about graphic design. I was thinking which passion to write, but I also was thinking about dancing because that's one of my passions as well. But then so many of us here, so maybe that would have been um, hard to figure out. But yeah, graphic design on like a kind of a hobby level. I have started um, learning how to do things in Photoshop when I was like 12 or 13. And I'm not saying that I progressed much since then. I'm kind of on the same level, but I can do uh, some stuff. And um, not right now, because I don't really have time, but sometimes I try to design book covers for like competitions. And I think I've won twice, but only one of my designs has been actually published on a book. But yeah. Wow, yeah. congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. But I can't draw, it's only like really just putting things together that already exist can't really actually create <laughs> things like SD with drawing or stuff, but, but yeah, just putting things together. And is it something you can use in your teaching? Yeah, I think so. Um, it kind of reflects on my PPT sometimes because I try to be creative there as well. And maybe if I do some original materials, then yeah, I can use Wow, it. that's great. I'm sure that makes a difference if you make things look neat and nice and personal in that way. Okay. Yeah, Dorina has the most beautiful and creative slides always. <laughs> wow. Thank you. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Okay, then we move on to the next person. Diligent, kind, stubborn. 
and the passion is nature. Diligent, kind, stubborn, and the passion is nature. Who is this person? Aliona. 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 Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, it's me. Well, yes, uh, I think I'm quite flexible with my colleagues and friends, but within the family circle, I may be really stubborn and uh, people have difficult times trying to convince me in some things. So, yes, that's me. Okay, thank you. And nature? Yes, I love nature and I like to live somewhere in the countryside. The next one is patient, open-minded, adaptive, and the passion is animals. Olha, Amy, Amy. Yeah. Amy is nodding. <laughs> yes, I I chose animals because you all know that I won't stop talking about my dog, <laughs> <laughs> so that's probably the most the you know, and I have a dream that I will get a place for myself where I can have multiple dogs, cats, geckos, chameleons, whatever I can, I can get all kinds wow. of animals, maybe not birds. I don't like birds, but, and, and spiders, but anything else goes. Yeah. When, when Nikki did the activity with us, which animal did you choose? I wasn't here that week, unfortunately. Oh, what a shame. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks, Annie. The next one is empathetic, creative, and curious. And the passion is meditation. Bori? Bori? Lana. Lana. Maria? Olha. Yeah. Oh my god, who's left? Esti. No? Margit. Margit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was me. I tricked you a little bit. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, curiosity is maybe one of my key qualities. I'm really curious. I love you know, getting to know people, trying out new things. And, and I chose meditation because I'm really into meditation, different kinds of meditation. I think this is such an important way of opening up a you know, different dimension to our lives. But also these days, just for relaxation and getting centered, it's very important to me. Okay, so loyal, impatient, talkative, and the passion is friendship. That's nice. Maria M. Then no. <laughs> yeah, that was Greek. <laughs> yes. She said me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's true. True. Uh, so one of my traits actually connected to my passion, friendship. I'm not easily adjusted to people. I, you know, I need to feel this click. Mm. And if I do, then I will do anything for my friends. I'm really loyal. And as somebody told, as Lutza said, I also become like this chicken mother. And um, sometimes, maybe sometimes, uh, my friends feel like, can you just leave us? But I'm sorry. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Maria. Okay, so the next person sees themselves as um, introverted, optimistic, and patient. And she put, at least with my students. And the passion is traveling. Sabrina. Sabrina? At this point, you're going to all say Sabrina because I'm the last one. Last. <laughs> no. No. All her. All her. No. Lana? Yeah. So Lana, would you like to tell us about one of these qualities? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I wrote patient, at least with my students, because uh, with my family, I, uh, I realized I'm not so patient, sometimes not at all. And um, only in my job, only when I'm teaching, can I be patient? I don't know why. 
I'm trying to bring this quality in my personal life as well. Uh, but it's hard, maybe because uh, I'm closer with those people. Uh, but I think that uh, with time, I, I will learn to be patient even with them. <laughs> Great. Well, it's great that with your students, students and teaching brings out this quality in you. So it's kind of like a professional quality for you as well. That's great. Maybe. Okay, now, um, confident, funny, and chill. What's the passion? Yeah, what's the passion? Uh, I don't see the passion. <laughs> We'll have to ask this person. So confident, funny, and chill. Maybe. Sabrina. Sabrina's in the passion. Sabrina. <laughs> Sabrina, is it you? Yeah, yeah, I forgot to write the passion. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. You can improvise. Um, I am really passionate about, yeah, about like self-development. I really think that our minds and our bodies are like wonderful spaces that we can learn about so much and it's fascinating that how much I keep learning about myself every single day and of course not just on my own but through books and through videos and through like the help of other people of course so yeah I, I'm really passionate about learning in general but learning about my mind and, and the powers of my mind and my body most of the time and uh, I can say chill like because I wasn't really chill before but when I was in Greece, I met the most chill humans on the planet. They were like, come on, relax. Everything's going to be fine. And, and I was like, yeah, it makes sense. Why do I have to worry about things? So, of course, it took a couple of years for me to, to develop that. But now I think I'm chill. Like, I think. <laughs> I hope. Great. That's a, I think that's a great call combination of qualities, being passionate about everything, but also the ability to, to chill and to be calm. Okay, thanks. And then we've got dedicated, nerdy, passionate, and the passion is writing. Olha. Dedicated, nerdy, passionate, and the passion is writing. Morbala. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> and like I'm passionate about basically everything I find till I die. And I can be so passionate that my chest literally hurts. <laughs> <laughs> and I love writing. And I have six big card boxes full of um, like notebooks, which I write in and several word documents. And I'm writing stories because my mind would just, I don't know, collapse. <laughs> I have so many stories in my head. So I'm passionate about basically everything. But wow. most important, it's writing and reading. Thanks, thanks, Boba. That's so nicely described, the way you described that. We could even feel your passion, or I could anyhow. Thank you. OK, and. Um, Open-minded, talkative, friendly, and the passion is photography. Hola. Hola. Hola, yes. Hola, do you want to tell us about it? My, my facial expression. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, um, yeah, like, um, I know we talked about photography, like, who follows my Instagram knows that I'm a little bit crazy about, like, street. Uh, photography and yeah it's like my small hobby and like this thing that um, uh, allows me to relieve uh, my like stress of thesis writing and it's like a way of like I don't know um, leisure activity whatever you will give this like a name to this and, yeah and Budapest is a nice place to practice my skills <laughs> Great, I, I, I see a couple of nods there. So it's, so it's great to find something which lets you kind of let go of stress and just focus on, on something that really pulls you in, something that really is, um, you find pleasurable. Okay, I think that was it. Is there anybody who we haven't called? 
I think that's good, everybody. Okay, so that was a little bit longer for a warmer, but I thought it would be really nice also for a kind of group building and getting to know each other a little bit better. I mean, I know you've been together for a while, but uh, I'm still in the process of getting to know you. And there is also, you know, no end to that. <laughs> so, so thanks very much for sharing all these very personal things. Um, 